Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and with me in studio today is Patricia Benedict, and she has a little story to tell about the noise and the confusion she heard outside her home, and it involved the Frederick Smith Secondary School students, but I'll let her explain what happened, but it's not a good scene. I have videos that she took. I cannot, I'll go through and see what parts of those videos I can upload with this video but it's not really nice to see young people and how they treat the people who are old enough to be, to be their parents it's not a good thing but I want to welcome Patricia into the studio Patricia yes Miss Veronica thank you for having me you're welcome I'm lying I'm lying down Miss Veronica it's after, it was after nine and I'm hearing all this cursing through my bedroom, like my bed. I look through my bedroom window, and on the main road, I see the those young ladies from the Frederick Smith School. What would have happened was that probably the, the probably the police stopped one of the buses they were on, yellow buses they were on, and they had to walk. So they from from I don't know how long they were walking, but from. Care Shepherd, they walk. They were from maybe from where I saw them. They were on a lot of them were walking up the road. But when I heard the kissing, I went make me take my make my business to leave my house because I have torn them already. I said to them, whenever I see you misbehaving and stuff, I would record you all. I got out. You see the videos. I followed them from didn't say nothing to them. Followed them from going up by Massey. And to went to get certain places and ask them certain questions. And you heard what the, the young women, you know, you heard what they said to me. The name calling. The, the bad languages they use. Of course I did. I did. Um, and it was, it was, it was, Ms. Renica, it was so sad. She, I once said, the same girl had cursed me. She said, you're not my mother. I said, no, I'm not, I know I'm not your mother. Tell Miss Veronica, um, when we were by Trent, I saw like 10 or 12 kids. And mind you, that was, it was now minutes to 10. Kids buying f from the canteen um, from a lady. Now you tell me, Miss Veronica, if you ask, an, I know you want to make some money. You want to make money. But you know the kids, um, there's a certain time the kids have to be in. You will not encourage the kids to go to school. Not to hang around your place, Miss Veronica. Right. And that's what I would have done right. if I was the person. Because people, a lot of people do not think like me. And sometimes you hear me raise my voice, but I do care about those kids. I do care about those kids. And not only that, Miss Veronica, the parents have to look at... I am not talking about all the schools. I'm talking about this school. When I was walking, when I was from the, my window, I see they walking with some guys not in school uniforms, and I've been seeing it a lot. So anyway, I record, I sent in the video of that. When I got there to school, they went into the school, ran into school, in the school. The security now, the lady, closed the window from the small hut. And some of the kids were cursing and getting on, Miss Veronica. You, as a security, what are you supposed to do? Not report them or tell them to stop it. Nothing like that. I said, this is what, if you hear the video, I said, this is where the bad behavior comes because they're not disciplined enough. And then, Miss Veronica, half of those kids went in without being searched because at that time there was only, I don't know, I only saw them in the milk afterwards when you probably hear everything going on. One lady search was there and there were a group of kids miss Veronica. half of those kids just walked out and walked into the, the compound before being searched and you tell me all the incidents have been happening there you would have thought that they would have learned from their mistakes anyway if you saw you heard the i think what i believe to be the principal what he said to me Yes, yes. And he would sue me. In the right, 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 yes. But I only came on the compound because I would, would want to put up a picture of the young days. I don't know if she's a teacher. She seems to be in a very, she seems to be a, more concerned than him. 
she called me inside the compound, Miss Veronica, because I, I am not stupid enough to go on people's, people's premises. She called me in. Now, when I was about to talk to her, he said, get out, get out. If I call the police, get out. So, so I said, no problem. But she should have said, she should have said that she was the one who, but she, I guess she didn't want to get herself in trouble because I, I would assume that's the principle. Then when I went outside, oh, if you recall me, I'll sue you. I said, no, that's why I'm going outside. When I'm going, when I'm outside of your gate, I can record in me and you do legally. I ain't said nothing to him, but he can tell me he's going to sue me. Right? Miss Veronica? Yeah. You see the videos. And everybody know I've been doing that for years. My credibility would be, would be Prime Minister, AG Commissioner, the retired Deputy Commissioner, Oral Williams, the U.S. Embassy, British Embassy, everybody. My credibility is 100%. Now, you'd have to wait and see if if those kids, because some of those kids were making up stories that I see. I would never... One thing about me is the kid children. I would have those ten children at Frederick Space back. This is why I've told them before. If I see you all doing anything that you're not supposed to do, I will record you. All. Many times I've gone out there. You saw it past videos, but the, 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 the disrespectfulness of those young kids, Miss Veronica, and a young man was going in there with an earring in his ear. I said to him. You walking inside of his airing, then he took it off. He took it off. Miss Veronica, I they would have had like maybe I'm not exaggerating, maybe forty or more kids going into that school, probably forty or fifty or more kids going into Frederick Smith. Minutes to ten, Miss Veronica. I just rang up the place, the um, school just now. I don't have the recording. I just rang up the school just now and asked a question. I said, what time does school start? She said, me, do you have a child in there? I said, no, I don't. Do I have to have a child in there? She said, no, prayer starts at 8.35, Miss Veronica. So that asked me something. Who is to blame? Not the principal? I guess. The whole system the stinks. Yeah, the whole system is a mess. And he has the, I am going to, I only given it to you, those videos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to the retired commissioner, Oral Williams, to pass it on to the prime minister, for her to pass it on to the minister of education. That, if that's the principle and the behavior that 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 he showed, you see the video? The yes, behavior? Yes, yes. He needs to be, he needs to not to have a job. He should not be dealing with kids I say so Cause you and and the teacher was right the teacher was doing the right thing Miss Veronica by calling me in maybe to have a conversation maybe to see the videos that thing and I hope that she gets a higher better position than him because she has more sense than him right because he if he had he asked what were you doing there ask her a question and I, I would have provided the videos for him, for him. And that's how, as teachers and principals should do, a concern, I, I don't have no kids, I, 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 no, I don't know but in, or one person I know in there that goes to school there. I always told the kids, I, I always tell them, I will be watching y'all. So that kind of behavior should have never been accepted, it should not be accepted. You have to put blame on the principal. Mm -hmm. you have Plain and simple. He has to answer. When we, the retired deputy commissioner showed this video to the prime minister and she sent it, she, she has to send to the Ministry of Education. Not mm -hmm. have to. But I know she will. Mm -hmm. I know wherever they, 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 they will send it because my credit is 100% and ask what's going on in that school. 8.35 and minutes to 10. After 10, when I was going down, after 10, kids were still coming back. Okay? And if you need to the videos, the, there was no urgency to go to school or not. Did you see the videos? Yes. Yes, I did. No urgency even when they were buying stuff, 10, 15 kids buying stuff at that place. And you have to hold the woman responsible that was selling them the, the stuff, stuff to a certain extent. Don't get me wrong. To a certain extent. If you care about those children, 
you will say to them, you, you, she knows what time they have to be in. When you come out, come back, come back. When lunchtime come, I don't know if they're allowed to come out. Come, you could come. But for now, go to school. Look out for the children. Your course, people have to start looking out for the children. And I will not stop looking after for them. Even if they cast me all it, you know how much things they told me? Yeah, I heard them. I know their mother and I'm calling all sorts of names. I heard them. I go still look out for them. I still look out for them though. I will because, you know, somebody has to. Somebody has to. The principal, like, I don't know if he don't care, but somebody has to. Okay. But the young lady teacher looks like she cared a kid. So before two, before that, the police come and play the whole me, said I was trespassing. I was called in by the young lady. I want to make that very, very clear. I don't know mm -hmm. if she's one of the teachers. I want to make that very clear. When he was getting on in the video and telling me to leave the premises, I lived. I immediately walked out. Mm -hmm. So that's it I have to see. So 40, 50, 60 kids, it's unacceptable to be going to school at this time. It's Veronica at I that agree. time. And the security, security, either the firm changes the people there or they got the government or whoever is employing them have to get people that are not to get used to the kids and the behavior because they were cursing and getting in front of the lady and she's not saying nothing. She's a security there. I don't know what her job description is. Because, but she could report them too. Exactly. When you are dealing with children like that, you cannot be. You could be a friend to a certain extent. Hey, those kids are those those kids are going to grow up and become ministers and policemen, and you know, <laughs> that's who you're gonna have to deal with in the future. I don't know what to say. I just do not know what to say about them. So those videos are going to be handed to sent to Mr. Retired Commissioner. And then he would definitely pass it on to the necessary authority. He will, he will pass it on. Okay. Because and that has to be addressed. And, and that principal has to be addressed. He cannot be a principal of that school. Okay. Alrighty. So, so that's it for now, Ms. Renica. Yes. So, and I'll try to edit whatever I can. I'll try to put up whatever I can. So let me get to work with that. And I want to thank you for calling in. Thank you so very much. Patricia. Thank you very much. You're so Thank welcome. Bye-bye.